Hello and welcome to Tile Coach. I'm Isaac Ostrom and today I am really excited to be showing you a new product that's going to make your life a lot easier when you're tiling your trim. That's either using uh, ceramic jolly trims or Schluter profiles which are really popular now. We use Schluter profiles on almost every shower we do. This tool makes it really easy. The cool thing is too, this is from a small company, Calidad Tools are just getting started out and if you watch my channel you know I love to support small American companies, FlowFX, Revolutionary Shower Systems, uh, the Beast Mixer, Bucket Saver, all these products I love to bring to you and showcase them. But I'm also just excited because I think this is one of the most awesome inventions for cutting and installing tile trim that I've ever seen. So let's get into it. Let me show you how this is going to make your life a lot easier. And keep in mind, I am not paid by these. I spent my own hard-earned dollars to buy this tool. And I originally just bought it because I knew it was going to work for our job installs, but I figured, hey, it just came in the mail. You probably haven't seen it. Let me do a review on it so you can make up your mind if it's worth buying this tool. So what I noticed right off the bat, this is awesome. So the way this thing works is you can see there's a, a groove in here for the profile to slip in both on the top and the side. So it can either be cut with the profile in like this or it can be cut with the profile slipped in on the top. What's nice about when it slips in, there's, an, there's enough friction in the groove here that I could set this square and with one hand I have, you know, I have an eight foot profile running out it's really easy to handle. It doesn't want to move. It's, it's real easy to cut. So watch this. When I cut it, I can cut it with, you know, a long edge hanging out. Things aren't moving around. So I got a really nice cut on that profile there. So you can see that really nice cut that I have doing the shooter profile. Now what I'm gonna do is flip the square over and cut the other side of the profile. All right, so you can see with the two sides of the miter completely cut, See what a nice, clean edge that leaves here. And again, this would be really good for an outside corner on a wall when you, got have, when you have to do one of these outside corners. But I'm really happy with how that cut turned out. So now if I want to make an inside cut, all I need to do is flip the square the other way. You see on the table, and I'm going to make an inside cut like I was going to do for an inside corner or a niche or niche as you should say. So here's the cut that you would need to make for uh, inside corner on a niche. And look how beautiful this cut came out here. Nice, tight, clean cut, perfect 45. So that you can make so that you can make those nice cuts that you see all over Instagram. That's just a beautiful cut right there. Really stoked on that. So now what I have is a Schluter A100 profile. This is the, the flat profile with the skinny top, fat side out that covers the tile. We use these probably more than any Schluter profile. And what they did here with the squares, they have this top channel so that the anchoring leg can slip right into there. And now we can do our miter cuts for our, for our niche the same way using this top channel.
And what this would be used for is if you're using these A100 profiles to trim your niche, you can see how nice, just a really nice, beautiful miter cut. You would imagine the tile would be outside, so this would actually be built up to accommodate the tile out here. But for this example, I'm just showing you how it lines up with the square niche. Beautiful, nice, tight miter joint on these Schluter A100 profiles. So here's another feature that's really helpful. We also use these ceramic jolly trims a lot. Now these jolly trims are usually like a 5 8 by 12 inch and they mostly go with ceramics. We use them a lot on backsplashes. We also use them in showers too. So I'm gonna show you both the out corner and the in corner for doing these. This, as you can see here, the square has this V channel and what that actually does is allow the jolly trim to fit in there and rest up against the angle to make the correct miter and you do it both ways. It flips around and you can do the opposite side. So you can do both, you can do both an in and an out. So I'll show you both. The height of the square allows the trim piece to go up over the table. Really nice feature so it doesn't get binded up. Now I'm just gonna place it in there and it's just resting against that angle. Fits in there nice and snug. So that's one side. Now I'm making an outside corner like you do on a backsplash. I'm just gonna flip it around and do the same thing. So here we go. This would be like a nice outside corner for a backsplash. You can see the miter fits in nice tight. Gives you that 90 degree angle that you need and they fit in really nice, clean, miter, easy to do. Now this is for an out corner, so now what I need to do is show you how to do an in, how to do an in corner like we'd use on the niche. So the in corner is gonna be basically doing the same thing except, but I'm gonna use the other side of the square. So I have it leaned against this side, now I'm gonna lean it against this side. So I just flip it up, and now I'm gonna be able to make the correct inside miter. Same thing, if it's easier to see from this side, here is the outside miter cut. All I need to do is rotate this and flip it to this side, and now I'm gonna make this cut. And so if we were doing around a niche or another inside corner, so you can see here we have another really nice miter, very clean, perfect cut, First try. So there you go. I'm sure I'm missing a few other features. I haven't even talked to the inventor about all of the features of this. I just got it in the mail, opened it up, and started using it. But I am really impressed with this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and order up five or six more of these for all my guys to have, keep them on their truck, because I think it is very valuable. It's going to be time saving. It's going to be we're gonna be more efficient, we're gonna make more accurate cuts. So again, this is the Calidad Tile Bro Square, and you could probably just go to calidad.com, that's what I did, just went to calidad.com, saw this. They also have other tools. They have uh, diamond bits, hole saws, blades, uh, all sorts of stuff for setting tiles. So again, I'm really excited. You could probably tell I'm excited when I see new products and they work, and also supporting a small company. And I love you, I love being your tile coach, and we'll see you on the next video.